Welcome. This is a recording of adults playing or talking about tabletop games. This means that adult language and or themes may occur within that could be seen as inappropriate for younger audiences. Thank you. Okay, so where we left off, you guys are teleporting inside. Bjarn, you're walking down the hall. Um, you probably see like like a uh, like probably a faded little like light of blue. Because don't Eldar they have like that like blue wisps when they they travel? Um, I think it depends on how we're traveling, but yeah, we I, I envisioned it like the Eldar teleportation, which is like through the kind of like oh I'm kind of like temporarily opening a webway pad. Yeah. That's badass. Okay, then yeah, I guess because that's would how be. we explained it. Is it's like technically they built it for like magic, but because we're doing like future sci-fi, like you're basically doing webway because that explain that makes sense. Yeah, I'm kind of just like stepping into a different dimension, a temporary and out to exactly. Like, see. Okay, that that works for me because it would only take you like a step to travel like yeah. that distance, and that's why it says almost instantaneously. Right, I like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, but that, if I remember, and, and you can correct me, Stephen, I think that that does create a little flash of light, right? Um, because literally, I've never like, you tear seen open a like webway, step through, and. I think that they do. I'll have to reference that, but I think that they do. So we're going to pretend sure. that they do. It doesn't really affect sure. anything as far as, like, what I'm going to have you guys do. But I was kind well, of yeah, just sure, saying yeah. for, for the yeah, context of J, yeah. you see often, like, this little alcove, like, this, like, quick blink of blue light and then like as the door shuts you see a, another brief flash of that light from the other side of the door um so okay. Malgan and Cecil when you enter this room um you see uh a you, you quickly try to, to to briefly, I'll try to describe it. To your left seem to be these giant vats, like the big kind that like you brew beer in. Um, and um, on uh, like in front of you, and then going down the line from in front of you and to the left, you see that they are these like almost like glass prisons or holding cells, and there seem to be human beings lying on cots in all of them, and it seems to have like this <clears throat> this light like neon blue LED light that streams down into the um the rooms and and where you saw originally um the the bald guy um you see that he's still there but he's now moved from behind that and um he seems to be having a conversation with that rogue trader that was that had walked through the door does it look like a congenial conversation or they both seem to be fairly agitated with each other probably they're like work people they're, they're like people that okay work so with they're each acquaintances other. they don't oh yeah they, they definitely know each place, other yeah. but they don't okay. seem to be happy with seeing each other like neither can I see one into any of the vats from where i am oh yeah you can see like probably like the two immediate vats does it look like that fluid that was in the cipher that um i accidentally injected myself with oh no these are oh into the vats oh my bad i thought you were talking about the tanks are the holding cells. No, you cannot see into these vats. It's steel all the way around. Okay, okay. I thought we were, like, up on a catwalk and I could see down into them or something. All right. No, you're about them and they're, like, sitting on the floor upward. Uh, um, I mean, I think you're sneakier than I am, Zach, so do you want to try and figure out if you can get closer and hear what they're saying, or, like, what do we want to do? Um, where are we in relation to them? So you're actually kind of near some of these vats, and there's, like, okay. whole rows of vets to your left. And they're kind of, like, catty, kitty corners. So they're, like, like maybe, like, 10 o'clock from where you are. The vets are, like, your 9 o'clock. Okay. How far away then, from them are? And then your 12 is where you see these these kind of prison-y chambers with the people on the cots on the inside with the blue lights. So, and how far away from these guys are we? Not too far. Um, probably a short distance, less than 50 feet. But close enough that we'd be able to hear them? If they're, if they're like, talking at an average speech, which they are, yeah. Um, so... they're, they're actually kind of walking away from you, though. It looks like the, 
the bald guy had gotten up from his desk to approach the rogue trader, but the rogue trader is while he's ta while they're talking, like the rogue trader's walking away from him. So like he's going further away. What's from where the you guy's, guys are. What's at the guy's desk? Is it a computer, just paperwork? Um looks is like it... a chemistry set. Okay. Lot like the entire table seems to be covered with like the classic like bubbling multicolored liquids with stuff pouring out the tops and you know, different condom, you know, con um, you know, tubings and Bunsen burners and shit like that. Um, and while they're figuring that out, Bjorn, you said that you were looking, so you see them do that. What are you doing now that, like, you don't see your, you don't see your allies, um, or you didn't see your allies the entire time, and you saw that guy walk through the door and it closed in front of you. Um, I did see the little flash, so I could reasonably assume that they got into the room, correct? Yes and no. You've never seen Mauga ever do a skill like that, so I would actually prefer uh, yeah. that you don't That's know true. that they are... You can, you can assume that they are, because there's nowhere else for them to be, but that that flash was how they got in there, you do not know. Okay. But I know they're in there. So I'm going to examine the touchpad, the uh -huh. keypad, and see if I can fiddle a way to get myself into the room whenever I want. Okay. Um, like add a override. So this keypad, it looks to be very simplistic. Um, it has all of the different numbers and letters on it. Um, so A through Z. Um, and one through, or zero through nine on the keypad. And on the keypad, all you see is the little bottom dashes with seven dashes. That basically looks like a key code that you need to put in. Um, okay. As to, like... Can I use my hacking ability on it? Do you have a data pad? Um, I have my servo skull. Does that count? Mm, I'll give you an asset on this. Um, basically, what I would say is, is that what you're trying to do is you are trying to use your servo skull to find the password. Like, basically, to, like, run algorithm, like, run some kind of algorithm to get past this pass, the seven-digit passcode. However, as, as okay. any good hacker knows, any sequence of numbers and letters of seven digits will take you fucking forever to get through. Unless it's something like blatantly obvious, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So uh -huh. basically your role, this is going to be really hard. I'm going to tell you this right up front. Um, I will actually tell you what your target number is because this is so fucking hard. Um, it's a 10. This is going to be a 7. It is a formidable task. Zach, you've beaten that tonight with one of your stealth rolls. It's yeah. possible. But he did like everything in his power to succeed at it and the high roll. Yep. So you'll have your um, service goal as so an asset. Could I count my hacking? Yes, I'll let you use your hacking because essentially that's what you're doing. Could I count? All right. Would that count as an extra asset or? Yes. Well, um, basically, you would hit the hacking. You will have the asset from the skull. That way, it combines them. Um, and then, if you wanted to spend effort, you could spend effort okay. to make that easier. Um, the hacking ability doesn't have a roll button. So, what should I do? Um, hold on, let me look at your character. <laughs> it's just the special that, abilities yeah, stuff. That just says he gets the gets the password. <laughs> uh, okay, so unfortunately I don't think that like hack the impossible is going to work for this kind of thing because there's no way for you to persuade an automaton. There's no like like there's right. no like 
you know, oh, did you forget your password? Click here, send it to your email kind of thing. Like there's nothing like that to like really bypass. This is a very simple, like you plug it in, you get a yes or you get a no. Like, and that's what you're, okay. so basically what I'm really thinking you're doing is, is like what you're, what you would actually be doing is you'd be using like a skill in your intellect, like, uh, okay. like computer protocols. And that's what you would be using versus like your hack the impossible. Hack the impossible is more for like when you're on a a intelligent operating system like a computer or a data pad. All right, then I will do the computer protocols then. So with two effort and more. Don't. Okay. So, close. so I don't think you're done yet. It's just that like for the first period of time, basically you just haven't hit the right password. Cause that's I think it's fairly reasonable that like that's fucking hard as balls to have a seven digit mm -hmm. password. So he just beat a six. <laughs> yeah, he did Two, beat a six. Yeah. Um Well he beat a because he beat a two, he had three. Trained, asset, and then two efforts. So I don't oh. know why it's equal to three there, but yeah, he beat a six. Yeah, he yeah. beat a six. I don't know why it's saying three there, though. Okay. So, anyways, um, so well, while you're 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 plugging up your servo skull, it's wires from the servo skull into the. One of my viewers says, "Try one, 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 one." Um, so you're, you're plugging the wires in from your servo skull and you're giving commands to your servo skull and it's basically running as fast as it can. Not really intended for this kind of thing. Um, but we'll snap back over to um, B, or, uh, Malgan and, and Cecil. Um, so what you guys are hearing is, is you, you're hearing a kind of like a, a argument between the two. Um, the, the shaved guy wearing the mask... <coughs> <coughs> Um, you hear him through his, uh, his, his, his weird metallic filter. He says, I need more time. I told you this would take forever. What you're trying to do is practically impossible. The subjects die before they're able to pull it off, before I'm able to, to come up with a proper uh, antidote. Um, at which point, like, the guy's kind of, like, yelling at him and, he, you know, saying, like, I don't have more time. And, and you know, that kind of, like, conversation back and forth. I, I'm not happy with Dobesh getting yelled at. He saved Mekog. This is not Dobesh. It just sounds suspiciously familiar. Well, it's it's because he's wearing a mask over his face. So this is another of Calamir's hired uh, doctor. It, it seems like some hired yeah. person, scientist or something. I mean, Dobesh wears like this full mask and and stuff like that, where this guy wears just like this weird like flat, almost like medieval breather device. Let's just fucking leap out and take them both down and force them to give us the information. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I'm still confused how this room looks. Um, so I, I drew a really rudimentary picture there, just to make sure I'm understanding this. Is that right? That arrow is the direction they're walking? And you said there were the cell things that they were walking directly towards? So the bottom circle is where we entered, the yeah. left side is the vats, and the top is what? The Versi mentioned some cells. Okay, so... Oh, on. like the glass cells. Um, let me get a hold of these things. I'm gonna fix... Oops. Fuck. There is no oh, go backwards key. <laughs> God damn it! I just deleted the planet. Terminatus just happened. Um, wait, wait. No, no. We got Death Star. Yeah. Hey, Zach and I are underground. We might might be okay. Um, so we're going to pretend that the planet's there. I'll fix it later, but not a big of an issue. But now I have more space to draw. Yay! Um, so... 
switch over here just so viewers can see. So like you guys are right here. You have where's shapes? Draw shapes. I need we'll do everything in red. So you have like a table right here. You have some big vats right here. You have all the the chambers, the prison chamber type things with the people in them right there. And then you have like the two bad guys. Where is my free hand? You I mean, we like, don't know for sure that they're bad guys. Well, you're going to assume that they're bad guys. The two guys are kind of talking, like, right there. And you So, top all... is cells, bottom is vats. That's a table right here. Yeah, and you guys are basically right here. Kind of hiding behind the vats. Watching right, them. Behiding, behiding behind the main vat. Okay, okay, sorry. I was just not getting a very clear image of... It was like... Um... Where's the door we came in through? Is it, like, over here? Yeah. Like right here. Okay. Because you teleported um, kind of like diagonal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Because we were like down here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. I should just fucking teleport us right down on top of them and we should choke them out. I'll follow your lead on this one. Uh, I mean, it, it would cost me three more int. It was so, a lot of int. Yeah. We I could mean, just we could... rush them. And yeah, just your int me. does get adjusted from your edge, by the way. Yeah, I, it costs four. Oh, okay. So I just I'm, wanted to make yeah. sure that you did that right. I mean, we'd probably get an asset for a surprise if we just fucking teleported right down on top of them, so I'd be okay with doing that. Or do we want to just keep listening, or like, I don't know what the fuck we want to do here. I vote for listening for right now. We have no reason okay. to assault them just yet. I mean, I, I always have a reason to assault people. <laughs> so, that, that yes, yes, you me. do. So tell us their mystical ways, Rosie. Yeah, I guess we're just going to hide out and watch them. Okay, so Oops. there we go. I think that was approximately the way it was. Close enough. Close enough. Um. So what were, what were you saying? Just to carry on with the conversation that they were having? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so ultimately, um, you 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 hear the guy, the the main um, rogue trader guy, and his 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 black and and his his blackish leathers, um, and he he kind of like points over at the vats, and he he goes he goes, why aren't they ready? You know, like, like, what, why can't I use them instead? And, and, and uh, you hear the, the doctor scientist guy going, they're incubating right now. You can't, you can't properly, you know, do any tests until the diseases have, have fully come to fruition within the bodies. Only then can we find cures for their, cures for them. Um, and at that point, like, uh, I think we should pause for a second and cut back to Bjarne and let him do another test to try to get in. Okay. Um, is it going to be the same difficulty? or? Um, you know, for like now it is. It'll be it. get a little bit easier the more failed attempts because you've gone through more, al you know, more combinations. But for now, yeah, it's still, okay. it's still I'll put a seven. One effort in this time. Mm -hmm. Yeesh. Okay. Low rolls are fucking you. God, you almost had it again. Wait, untrained? Yeah. Okay. One asset. Oh, you only did one. Oh, man, if you would have spent two effort, you would have had it. Wait, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. 
He wouldn't have because it, it would have same that result came, as last time. That came that comes up to the same. That's it's right. Okay. Right, because the other one was wrong last time by one. No, no, it wasn't. It, it's not wrong. It takes it. It takes it down from a target number of seven to a target number from a difficulty of seven to a difficulty of three. Oh, okay. And you rolled an yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. so it's it's right. Right. Okay. That that's how we we screwed up in the reading. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Um. So yeah, unfortunately, you weren't able to do it. And little fix. The answer to your thing is is that technically, technology never reached that. The technology reached that pinnacle, and then they went into a dark age, where technology devolved. Um, so. Yes, technically, it should be 12,000 times faster than it is today, and it did reach that point, but then they lost that technology. And that's actually what the players are searching for, is they're searching for an STC that has that kind of technology in it. He is basically pointing out that it shouldn't, you guys are in the future, and that you should have faster technology than you do nowadays. Yeah, but we're in the future where everything went all the fucking way to total shit. Yeah, exactly. Galaxy this is like post, post, dystopia. post, post apocalyptic. Like, there have been like five apocalypses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, anyways, um, so, unfortunately, not quite what you needed, but, uh, still close. Next time it'll be a six, just so you know. Um, and, um, at that point, I think, um, the two of you, actually one of the guys in, in behind the glass who's lying on his cot, his head rolls to the side and he like sees the two of you like standing behind this vat because he's like seeing something across. Now, is that a GM intrusion? Or... <laughs> no, he just sees it. And he, okay. he, you, he's, he, he like looks and he seems to try to start trying to mouth something to you, but like you can't... Does anyone have like lip reading? Oh no, no. I want to... Uh... Because I don't understand human emotions, I want to try and tell him to be quiet, but instead of going, shh, I'm going like, shh. Okay. <laughs> Putting your mouth over, your hand yeah. over your mouth, yeah. And then we'll try and figure out what he was whispering to us. What, what, do you, what does it cost you to mind read? Oh, uh, four in. ints, a three int. Oh, ooh, nah. I mean, I have nine, <laughs> so I can drop down to six. I mean... How yeah. long have we been in this room? Can I roll my ten-minute recovery roll? Oh, no, you've not been in there for nearly that long. You've probably only okay. been in there for, like, three, four minutes. All righty. Uh, do you think I, I should just... Roll my action one? One action? Your what, Jay? Oh, your one action? Yeah, you uh, could totally my do one that. action recovery? Because you're, you're so... basically your machine's doing the work for you, <laughs> so you can do, like, a one action. I mean, Zach, I'm assuming we each get an action here because there's been a new development, so if you want to try and roll to lip read his lips, if you fail, I can, um... I can read his mind. Well then, um, I don't have any lip reading, but I'm really good at deceiving people, so and lying to people, so that's got to count for something, right? Only if you pretend like you know what he's saying and you tell Malgan something that isn't what he's saying. <laughs> then you can make a roll to deceive him. Yeah, you're getting shafted, Jay. I mean, do you have anything that relates to like con artistry, Zach? No. Nope. I okay. All I've, I've got is I, I'm, a, I'm an escape artist, and mm. I have really good hand-eye coordination. Nothing like that. So just a flat like an int, int roll, I guess. Yeah, int. Let's boogie. Woo. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, you totally. Um, you you see his lips move and they say, help me, they're killing us. Well, that's not any new fucking information. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving him, they're giving him diseases to try and solve them. We, we, they're, they're using hardcore ruthless mes methods to try and save the planet. I, I got the motivation. I just want to learn where the monsters come into it. Shit. Fuck. All right. Fuck that guy. As long as he's not giving us away. Yeah. He might have given you away, but he literally does not have the energy. Strength? The strength to do so. Alright. 
Um, at that point, like, like maybe like you guys kind of look over and and you see that um, across the room, the the uh, rogue trader is actually walking towards another door across the room from from where they are. Um, it would be like basically all the way to the left on the previous like little drawing I made for you guys. And, oh goody. Um, uh, he he kind of like like shouts over his shoulder and he goes, he goes, um, with the way things are going, the whole planet will be diseased within a month. I expect a cure by then. And then he like opens, he begins to like, like lean forward and start hitting like into the keypad area from his side, and he starts like trying to, you know, and the, you hear the door whoosh open from the hydraulics of the the steel door. Um, Bjorn, give me another roll for him to see if you can get through. This time it's a six. Your circle skull is, is going through a large number um, of the algorithms. I'm going to do no effort because my roll was poopy. Hey! There we go. Yeah. Um... And and just because I think it'll be funny, I'm gonna do my jam and intrusion on you, Bjorn. <laughs> oh no. So so you open the door and those alarms that have been going off kind of like notify that the door gets opened because all of a sudden there's this sound of the alarms like ringing from the hallway. And and all of a sudden uh the do, the ball guy and the metal mask turns over and looks behind and sees um, he sees you Bjorn walking through the door and you hear you I hear him, rush him you hear him go ha intruders in like that like Fuck. metal like like metallic metal voice can I roll like a, a dex to see if I can rush him before he gets that whole thing out I don't think so, because, I... like, realistically, okay. you didn't know that Bjorn was coming through the door either. Yeah, but I would have seen him react to somebody coming through, you know? I yeah, was just but, like, by, could, but yeah. by the time, like, mm. he looks up and, like, you turn, because, like, you, it might be, it might not be, like, one of Bjorn's guys. Like, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be, like, one of his guys, not Bjorn. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I think, I don't think that it, I mean, like, I, I'll give you enough that, like, I'll give you an advantage in like doing something, like i.e. your initiative role for like who goes first. I'll give you that advantage because he doesn't know that you're there. But Okay, that makes sense. But like, you know, stopping him from screaming that out, I'm not gonna let you do that. Um and also like you hear from like down by the door, you hear that uh that rogue trader go, Then handle it and he walks through the door and the door closes. And he's a thug. <laughs> And with that, I think it's about time that we travel to combat map. The combat map. Who's out to dead people? So we have Bjorn and Cecil. Now again, so Bjorn's there. Now again, and Cecil, you are right there. Hello, dude, people. Hey, this is what the room looks like. It is. Man, this this would have been so much nicer than drawing it. I could have been like, see, the problem is, is like, if I'm like, here, it looks like this, and like, I moved you guys to it, then you guys would be like, oh, we're totally intended to fight on this map. Okay, let's fight. Especially How big are these vats? That big. Um. Basically. Like vertically, are they cover? So like, like this the the diameter is probably like twenty feet. So it doesn't look like I could like knock one over. Oh hell no, Macog <laughs> could probably do it. You could do it if you threw every bit of effort into it as and rolled high. Okay. But yeah, they're 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 heavy and like really it depends on like if is there shit in them, is kind of mm -hmm. like the other thing. That matters, um, because these essentially they alone weigh a couple hundred pounds with liquids in them. 
triple that easily. Quadruple. Yep. Alright, so I need I need an so initiative roll. My survival roll. skull is out. Can I call that ready? Can you call what ready? Uh, since my servo skull is out, can I say that that's already ready for combat? Have you spent the time to outfit your servo skull with all of the attachments that you have gained from Metcock? I'd say I did. While we were driving <laughs> over to the Duchess's place after we dropped him off. Um, I need something to do for during the drive. I'm going to say that... Fine. I'll, 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 I'll let you retcon this. Roll me a mechanics check to to appropriately outfit your servo skull with weaponry. And then I, I'll need another one because you need to program it to know how to use that weaponry. So first, can, can did you accomplish so attaching, be... putting on the attachments? Would those both be intellect checks? Yes, but one gets the computer, like one of your computer skills. So the first one is you okay. attaching the parts. I will put... One effort into each. Okay. It's got the parts. Holy! Well, they both need, it's, it's got the parts. Seven. And There's his rules. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The, the yeah. servo skull is absolutely <laughs> ready for does combat. Plus five damage. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. No. The, the servo skull. <laughs> You you probably even got rid of a couple bugs inside your servo skull, like while you did it, like some bad coding that was causing like some malfunctions. Where like it would every once in a while call you a little bitch when it introduced you. Like it to alert 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 every one of our presents when we uh, when you slip and fall in the sewers. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, no, it it is totally That's, that won't happen ready. anymore. Um, and I totally forgot that I should make you a token That's for that. Dumb. Hmm. Well, we'll worry about that later. I am going to. Where... Let me let me make a little. Let me pull one of my tokens from like the side. Maybe because it's like still updating, it can't leave his side or something. Like. Yeah. Or actually, sit on my head like a hat. You know what? That's actually a really good point. It's still like attached to like the fucking like. Like panel and shit so just for now i think i'm gonna say that like the service goals in no capacity because it it was assisting you with like hacking into the room that like you can't get it into the room for this so what does it need to take a turn or so to like detach and get in the room yeah it would need like bjarn would have to spend like a turn or two like a detach oh, as an the action tables. yeah as an action oh, fuck that noise all right but there's only one enemy in this room, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just that, that doctor guy. Also, I got a 7, and uh, now, Cecil now. got an 11, because we had an asset from being so sneaky. All right. But sure. I still got a really shitty roll. Okay, where's my... Okay, cool. I had to figure out what there we go. this guy was. Oh, no effort on that. Um... And no asset. Okay. Um, and then what are those there? Can we get that um, that circle that shows us like what immediate, short, and long distance is in here? Absolutely. Because I don't really know how big this room is. Oh, okay, sweet. So it's not that big of a room. Okay. Yeah. So. I put it on you so you can see that essentially like I could get to him and attack him all at once. Well, you can get to him, but that's a short distance, which means that you couldn't attack to him, attack him. Unless you teleported. Wait, I, I thought we can't move a short distance and then attack? Nope, you can move a short distance, but you cannot attack. So we can only move an immediate distance and attack? Yep. Wow, that's good. Has it been a while, while since we had combat? <laughs> It's okay. only been like one week. Apparently, it's been a long week for me. I don't remember that at all. That's weird. Okay. It's just that, like the the week prior, you let everything come to you. <laughs> oh yeah. Because you're in the arena and you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I'm throwing up a firewall. Come get me, boys. 
Good and point. then And then technically the week before that, you were in the sewers. And really, you were running away from everything at that point. No. Every, well, yes, he was running away from everything. I was just taking it like, uh, you know, the uh, pseudo-tank that I boy. am. Yeah. And, and realistically, I guess technically you've never had to deal with this and since you were in the hospital on, like, week three. Because then you actually yeah. had to deal with distances. But, that explains it. Yeah. So, so that gives you an indication. Um, so, with that, let's see here. We have initiative rules. Um, so, the order will go... Okay, him, then Bjarn, then Cecil, then Malgan. So, let's see here real quick. Hey, we get the turn order marker. I'm going to pull out the turn order marker if I can remember how to do it. Add custom label. Okay. Um, I'm going to label him dude. And then... Why do I not have... Okay, so then it was Bjarn. Uh, Bjarn, then Cecil... Then Maugen. Um and that he would beat you guys even with your with the advantage that I was given Maugen and Cecil. Okay, so um with that being said, um the first thing that he does is he is going to fucking book it to Three, whoops, I just turned him upside down because fuck me. Still not my type, dude. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, is that is that Doc Ock over there? Who? Uh, that Who? guy that just moved? Yeah, that's the duck. Uh, oh, he's running away? Uh-huh. Man, the rope trader closed the door. He don't want to get through there. Fuck him. Okay, so, um, that was the dude. Now it is Bjorn's turn. Um, what do I want to do? Well, I guess first thing I'm going to do is duck back behind the doorway and try to unplug my servo skull. Okay. So you're going to spend your time to get the service goal out? Yep. Okay. I, I would feel bad just leaving you there. Okay. Then just I mean, what else is going to announce his presence? Argument's sake. We will right? go ahead. Control by J. Okay. That little green thing is your servo skull until I make you a token for it. Because I totally him... forgot that I needed to do that. It glows in the dark. Just give him Bob's token. I don't have a token for Bob. You didn't make a token for Robert? I only made the image for Robert. Oh, okay. I only had that image. He never was actually going to be a combatant of any sort, at least not that I planned, or anything that I did plan he wouldn't need a token for. Fair enough. Um, so... Uh, that is, so you're, you're spending your first round, it's going to take two rounds to do it, um, Bjarn. And okay. now we're up to Cecil. Um, how far am I allowed to move since, uh... Uh, ten squares is a short distance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can move a long distance if you want to uh, 
do Roll a speed test. But if you fail it, it's not a it's not a difficult one, right? Um, it's like a three or a four, I think. And what happens if you fail it? You go prone. You basically but do I still get to where at, I was trying to go? You, you stop at the short, and then you fall prone. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm, is, I'm, is, this is a table, right? Like, it's a chair and a table? Yeah, the circles are like stools, the brown is the table. Can I hit him with my... Oh, no, because I moved a short distance, so I can't do anything else. Correct. So. Okay, well, I guess that's everything I'm going to do, so... Boop! Okay. I can move... 20 if I want to roll for it, right? Yep. So one... So my first diagonal counts as two? One diagonal is one, the next diagonal is two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twelve. 20. I'm going to try and move there. And now I need to do a speed roll. Correct? Yes. Otherwise, I'm going to make you go back 10. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. But I should be okay, right? You said it was a 3? Let me double check that because it might be a 4, but I think it's a 3. Bum, 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 bum. Where's my book? Surprisingly, it's not on the roll cheat sheet, because I don't know why. That's weird, and you'd think it would be. It says difficulty four. There you go. No, it doesn't. Where do you see that? Is it in the book page or on the, the cheat sheet? Cheat sheet, page two. Page two. Okay. Speed test, difficulty four, you're right, yeah. All right, there you so go. knock yeah, me out. Mm -hmm. four. Yeah. So move it back ten, and you fall prone. Two. Three, it's probably you're gonna end up tripping on a table. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like ten, I guess. Would be there. Yeah. So yeah, probably like you you took that corner a little too fast, and you caught your foot on like one of the chairs, which sent you sprawling down to the ground in that spot. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I can't make myself prone. I don't think so. Oh, I can. Oh, I'm double prone. <laughs> now you're double prone. Yeah. No, nope, now I'm not prone at all. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that was Malgan. Um, top of the round, round two. The guy is gonna turn around and and he goes, "You fools!" You ruin everything! And at that point, you're going to see him start waving his arms around in some weird, creepy fashion. And it makes all of your, all three of your skin crawl. Hmm. Okay. Like, just something feels wrong. The hair on your neck is, is poofing out like a cat. Um, Bjarn, you're spending your next round to uh, detach your service call? Yep. Okay. Can I move after that's done, or no? Um, you can move two. Okay. Then I'll head back into the room. Oops. Can my service call move then? Uh, two. Whoa, why did the terrain just move? I accidentally moved it Alrighty. when I was doing stuff on a jam layer. Um, I can't move it, I don't think. You should be able to. I thought I gave you power to. Let me check it. Do you have the ruler selected? Controlled by J. Nope. I can move mine. Oh, there we go. Now I can. So, yeah, it moves into the room behind me. 
Well, if I can move 50 feet, then I should be like oh, yeah, no. here. I know, but I'm saying use the ruler. You can move a lot further than we thought. Well, the ruler says um, it, it doesn't do the diagonals correctly the same. Oh, okay, so it's 50 feet aside from the diagonal thing. Never right. mind. Because, because see, it, it like it considers it, like, yeah, it, it doesn't consider like the same diagonal cuts as the same as everyone else. Okay. Also, you're not that. That's considering that you're going over things to mm -hmm, like, tables mm -hmm. and shit like that. Okay. So, anyways, um, so that was Bjarn, Cecil. Well, um, I'd like to move. Two squares there. Yep. And can I use a talking thingy Mavobber to ask him something along the lines of what did he say last turn? It was Fools, you'll ruin you'll everything. Ruin everything. It's like, uh, tell us what we're ruining, and then can I hold my action till uh, his turn? Um, he'll be a reset, like because his turn's the next round. But you can Dang say it. like, I mean, like if, I mean, he's not gonna. I'll tell you right now, he's not gonna respond to you to that. Like, well, then in that case, I want to use my grapnel on him. Okay. Give me a roll. There you go. Jesus. I think he's hooked. So he <laughs> is hooked. Um, so yeah, you, you launch it and it attaches itself to him. Um, you hear him like kind of like, like probably like it, it like catches him from behind as it like it starts to like reel backwards. So like, it, you know, it's pulling him towards you, I assume. Yep. Um, and you hear him kind of like, oof, a word out, like, um, and uh, he he like glares menacingly at you, at you, and he goes, "You will all die." <sighs> Wait, is that his turn or still my turn? That was your turn. He just said that freely. Okay, can I uh, pull him towards me then? Your action is the. Shoot, just, just the, the grappling. Just, just the shooting him. Yeah. Next okay. turn, you can reel him towards you. Okay. Uh, Maugen. How does this work? Can I stand up and move, or just stand up? Stand up and move too. Basically, your action is the stand, but you can move your immediate move distance immediate. for free. Okay. Um, do I have anything else at all that I can do? Hey. No. Yeah, I'm just going to stand up. What? Steven, I would just like to point out that I appreciate the determination that your character has that when he gets knocked down, he gets back up again. Because <laughs> you ain't ever going to keep him down. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a tub and just dump on it. Okay. So that was Maugen. Next round. The dude... You see him, and, and he, like, claps his hands together, and as he pulls them apart, there's this purple energy that, that begins to form in between them, and then he raises it over his head, and then he casts it down. Where is the grapnel hooked on him? Like, around his torso. Uh, so he just commanded us. No. Technically, Zach could have targeted his specific body part, because he got a minor effect. And in front of him spawns a portal. Oh, I could have. Blast. And when he spawns that portal, all of a sudden your grapnel detaches as it the line between him and you gets severed. Oh, you didn't. I did. You didn't. I did. Dick move. Not only that, but little creatures come pouring from the portal. Okay. We'll do it live. Hold on. People are home. I know. You're one of them. I know. I am one of them. But I am not the only one. Um. 
So you're not a Tigger. Good to know. Yep. He's so, full of old song references tonight, Zach. Yeah. Um, so, so out of the portal, actually, they would come out a little bit fatter than that. Like that. Come these little creatures. They're probably only about three feet tall. And they have these, like, bulbous bellies. And they're green. And they have little spiky ears and these nasty, pointy teeth. About, like, you know, kind of like this. And, um... They they don't seem to like be carrying any clubs or anything, but they have these really nasty claws on, on the ends of their their hands, and they seem to be covered in um like hives almost all over their body. Um and they come barreling out of the, the portal with, with like cackling and wheeze and you know, stuff like that as they, they pour out. Can I uh, contact Amberly and just tell her to blow up the whole goddamn planet? <laughs> we, we got some Nurgle up in this bitch. <laughs> so, um, Next turn, my eyes falls, everybody dies. End of campaign. Done. Problem solved. So, mm -hmm. with that, Bjorn. Well, Nate, your shopping spree was successful. Unfortunately, the rest of the guys killed the planet. Yeah. <laughs> There's a montage of like him and and the uh -huh. uh, Duchess, and they're like trying on clothes, and all of a sudden it like cuts to like World War II, like Mushroom atom pile. bomb, <laughs> you know, ripping of skin from bone, ash, you know, silhouettes and shit like that. Let's see. How far could I run with a long distance? Twenty. Twenty. But you'll need to make a speed test. Um, I will. Try that, I guess. It's true. Speed test. Oof. So, 10. And you go prone. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. One, two, <laughs> three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then prone. Prone. Uh, uh, do your I go prone? skull can move 10. It can't go any faster. It doesn't have the jet propulsion to do so. That's a future go. present from Metcog. So, so what you be should, right beside me. Yep. What you should have done was thrown the servo skull, then done the running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cecil. Well. The wire on your your grappling gun is is currently whizzing up to you. Well, I do the only thing I can do. I aim. Uh huh. You aim. Or well, I pull out one. I pull out my um, stub revolver and I aim. Okay. So we talked about. Did we talk about aiming like as a thing? It doesn't it give I... you like an asset or something. It gives me five extra points of damage if I for each level of effort that I add. If I aim, if I aim, if I spend a turn lining up a shot, so I'm spending a turn lining up a shot. Where is that on here? I I, I knew I saw it at some point. Um, careful shot. Um, oh, okay. This is to carry. Got it. Okay, cool. So yeah, you're 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 powering up the big guns. Malcolm. Well, Cecil's done, so yes. Yep, Maugen. Hey, I shamefacedly um, stand up, and I toss my last goddamn frag grenade right into the midst of those motherfuckers. Alrighty, frag grenade. Yes. So now I have zero frag grenades, and what do I do to throw that mother? Um, I need a speed test for your accuracy in throwing the grenade. Okay, um, I'm assuming it's fairly simple because I'm so close to them, right? I'm... Yeah, it's not hard. Okay, I didn't know if I needed to throw some effort into this bench. If you're off, like, I'll look at, like, how far you're off, and I might, like, make it, like, you, I, I just need to know oh, where I you're see. throwing yeah, it. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm aiming, bit. like, 
right here. I'm just want to fucking yeah, drop it right in like right as many yeah. as possible. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I just blew myself up. What the fuck are the oh chances? How do I? That's the second time that I've gotten a one while trying. No, no, no. Last time it was somebody else that got a one while trying to throw it. He pulls the pin. Yeah, it was the pin. That, that did it last time. Oh, yeah, he smacked his hand into the. Back. Every time we've tried to throw a frag grenade, two out of three times we've tried to throw a frag grenade, we've gotten a GM intrusion. Slut Nash is, is quite pleased. Fuck my Do I try and re-roll it? Do I want to waste an XP? It's up to you. I, I I promised myself I would never waste XP. I think I just need to take the damage. Versi, mm -hmm. so he pulls the pin and throws the pin? Yeah, because he's not really good with, with Imperial technology. <laughs> So Even like, though I successfully used a frag grenade like three days ago. So like probably like he, he forgot and like so he thinks that you need to like like he's he's trying to cook the grenade is what I think happens. But like he doesn't get the counting right and so it literally just detonates right in his hand. God damn it. Um, so how much do they do? Four damage? I don't know if I wrote it down. Let me look. I think they do four damage in an AOE. Oh, it turns out they actually heal. Yeah, right? Yeah, four damage. <laughs> Okay, right. so so you I take, take four, four damage. damage and and in addition that to that, I'm gonna I'm gonna re knock you prone because I think it's fair that if a grenade goes off in your immediate person, oh no, you, you don't need to justify ass. that. That yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> it's four square though, so um, it's just you. No, 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 you, you... It, it blows up in your hand. So it's three square then. Well, it's it's total four total squares, so it'd be. Yeah. Basically, from here outward, kind of. Like, oh, yeah. like a two by two square. Yeah, it's a two by two square. Oh, it's four. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was thinking it was like a four square ra like radius around me. No, that'd be gigantic. Yeah, I thought that, that too. I'm gonna have I, my I hand on the wall. To... Yeah, think of it like four pips on a dice, and you're one of the pips. Okay. So yeah, so that so you take four damage as, as you go to my turn to do that. That was a fantastic round, awesome. Um, this guy's turn. Um, let's see here. Well, honestly, like he doesn't. I, I was gonna say like he's gonna target Malgan, but like Malgan just made him look like an idiot, so he's not really wanting to target him. He's like, Malgan will kill himself. <laughs> like I don't need to target him. Um, yeah, he'll go for Cecil. He's going to step two to the side so that he can get a line. Um, Cecil, I need an intelligence check from you. And you're muted in case you're talking to me. Oh, goody. Um, flat intelligence, nothing that I can, uh, whatever. Let's nope. just do this. Thirteen. Nope. God dang it, he's a level five. <laughs> you see him reach forward, and, like, in his hand, he, like, turns his hand, like, in this, like, kind of like, like those, um, like those weird dance where they pretend like they have, like, a ball, but they don't really kind of things. But, he, like, he turns his hand, like, around, like, an imaginary sphere, and it suddenly, like, there's this kind of, like, green glow about the sphere, and he pulls it back, and he wings it at you. And and it like it hits you full on in the chest because you're trying to like line up that shot, and uh, so you take, uh, let's see here, you take six intellect damage when that impacts oh, you. Holy! Um, oh, I'm sorry, John. My armor does that help against my frag grenade? Um. Yes. Yes, it would. Okay. Okay. If it was like an incendiary, I'd say no, but this is yeah. like the concussion, so like I would say that a, your armor that kind sense. of absorbs some of that. Yeah, but there's not a damn thing that's going to help Zach against all that in damage. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Um, also, because you're on the ground, one, two, well, fuck it. So his summon guys get to go on his turn? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Six, seven. Okay, that means this guy can get here, and that guy can totally get there. So they can't do anything else, but they they come barreling towards you with with a a, a cackling glee, and uh, get ready to pounce upon 
the prone Maugen and uh, the the mentally reeling Cecil. Bjarn. I'm going to get up. And then I will move to while my servo skull moves a short distance. Yep. And that's my turn. Okay. So that was that. Cecil. Well. Good luck, guys. <laughs> God dang it. Um. So. I'm going to. Um. Always look at the bright side of life. I'm gonna use some effort. Yep. Um, to add some damage here. Uh huh. And I think I'm gonna use some effort to add some chance to hit here. And we're gonna do what I do best and firing main cannon uh -huh. at the. At the dude right in front of me. Oh, the little guy. Okay. So that aim thing, if you change targets, what happens with that? Does it say anything about that? Who said I don't I think he actually said who he wanted to target. Who said I changed uh, targets? I knew these guys were going to rush me. I was just going to blow yeah. one away. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were aiming at the metal mask up there. I can only do so much dodging, man. Okay. So you fire off a shot. Give me a dex roll or a uh, speed check. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Totally hit him. Um, damage is... Eight. Six plus two. Um, eight. Where's my ammo? Yep, that is enough. Um, so yeah, so the, the it like it's probably like mid air and it's like got its like little talons out and it's like ha ah! and then like like <laughs> as it's like leaping you just like like catch its like face with like the tip of your pistol and fire and so like it just blows the the brains backwards and like the body the body still probably like impacts you but it's like limp dead body and it like kind of like crumples into your body and then like rolls out onto the floor. One for one. Let's do this. Alrighty. Malgan. Uh, I'm going to try another grenade. I'm going to throw my damn smoke grenade. Okay. Where Can are you I... throwing it? Like, maybe, like, right here. So that it's... Wait, where am I going to... You're in the... Like, right here, I guess, so that I'm blocking um, Metal Mass's view of all of us. It doesn't actually say how big it is. I'm assuming because it's a smoke grenade, it's a lot bigger than the frag grenade. It just kind of will, like, fill a decent chunk of the room. Yeah, I'll say that that probably it, like, increases, like, two squares each round up to, like, let's say eight squares. I mean, yeah, but, well, that would be... I mean, like, like wide. Oh, that seems really small. That's like a smoke, like, one of those little firework smoke bombs. Uh, a smoke grenade, it's like a military smoke grenade. I was yeah, thinking it so would like fill like. You, I mean, like if you're talking about that, that's hold on. Where's my measuring? That's I was thinking it would fill one, up two, like three, four, at five, least six, that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten. We'll say ten. From okay. in in both directions. So if, like five in each direction from where it is. Alrighty. Um, I guess I just do a flat speed roll, and I want to drop it like maybe right here, so that it immediately blocks me and um. Cecil. And next okay. round it'll block. Bjorn. So sorry, Bjorn, I'm throwing you under the bus because I can't take any more damage. Here we go. That's cool. Yeah, you totally hit it. So it goes right there? Yes, and then I will use my like two to stand up, right? Um, so if you're throwing the grenade, then I'm you, still prone. you'd have to stay prone. Okay, that, I mean... I guess that's fine. Which means that all the sure. things that are going to attack you next round get makes it easier because like you're lying on your ground and they're going to try to hit you. So it's a full action to stand up from prone. Uh huh. Okay. Can I move like um one 
because I'm like crawling, can I throw it and then move one? Yeah, I'll let you do that. I think that's okay. fair. Okay. Then yeah, I'll hit it right there and then. Okay. Dope. Alrighty, so that was Maugen. <coughs> Top of the round. Um, first thing that's going to happen is the portal is going to belch out another two of these things. Yeah, I figured. Um, and this dude is going to... Where's that cipher? There we go. Um... Cypher does. Oh, that doesn't. That's not what I wanted. Oh, there we go. That's the one I wanted. Yeah. That doesn't actually do what I wanted. Um, he's just going to attack again. Cecil, I need a defense check. Does he have a, uh, a negative for going through my cloud? Um, yeah, because he's still winging an object at Cecil. Um, that'll be enough because of that. So you can thank uh, Bjarn or uh, Malgan for that, that cloud because that was what... You needed. You needed a five. Um, oh, wait. That's an int. Why do you have damage on an int check? I forgot to take it off when I hit that. Oh. Oh, okay. yeah. I was I really roll. confused for a second. Yeah, so, so like, probably, like, right near you, you see this, like, kind of, like, semi-translucent green orb whip by your head. And then, like, like slam into the wall behind you. And, like, nothing seems to happen when it does it, but you barely got out of the way from that one. Yeah. Level 5 guy sitting in the back there. Uh, let's so, see. That was his turn. On to Bjarn. Oh, no, no, no. These little guys oh, yeah. get together. Yeah, I forgot about the little fellas. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let me just Malgan. move them as a group. Four. Speed, defenses. Yep. And right. Cecil, one. This is where I die. Do Does one of those hit me? What level do these guys? Um, let's see here. Oh, maybe miss, two, miss, actually. Miss. I need one more from you. Oh, wait. No, I rolled four. Yeah, I, yeah, it's just Cecil came in between your rolls. So, all four miss. I did? Oh, wait, no, you're on the ground, so that means that... <laughs> yeah, one of those should hit, that's what I was you. saying. Yeah. One hits you. Um, two damage? You take two damage, but it is penetrating, so... If you... It, it ignores armor. So is that because damage. I'm prone? No, that's just because of how they are. They're little talons. Whoa, so how are there armor. five around me now? Because one moved from the portal. It just oh, okay, to attack okay, you. okay, okay. Okay. Sweetness. Okay, and Cecil, yeah, the one, you dodge the one that, that tries to leap at you. It, like, tries to, like... <laughs> and, like, it, like, charges and... Do I get to do anything to one of the ones that tried to hit me with that 18? Can I, like, name it? Or, like, slow it down? Or... You yeah. give it a menacing look. <laughs> I think I think probably, like, you... you uh... Well, I like guess... Like, I'm laying there, I kick it in the leg or something? Yeah, you, so I think, like, you kick it, so, like, maybe you do, like, one point of damage to it. It's not like a... You can't give it, like, a good kick, like, how you'd want it to be. So I didn't, like, slow it down. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't stop it okay. anyway, but it took a damage. Sweet. I guess... totally gonna have to keep track of all these that's the one problem with minion creatures okay can't you just click them and type in a damage yeah but usually it's a lot more effort for me to like do all the clicking than it is mm. just for me to write down what they do okay especially when they're like as little as they are 
They're, these aren't yeah. like the most dangerous creatures in the world. Okay. Um, so, that was that turn. Maugen. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, not Maugen. Um, Bjarn. Maugen. Alright. I'm gonna move here, and I'm gonna start ranting about the God Emperor and how he will purge this violence, bile corruption from the face of the planet. AKA encouragement. So everyone, or Malkin is within short range, so he will get a benefit to his def- attack. But Cecil is just barely out of range, so he doesn't. So wait, I'm getting a bonus my. To my what? Attack. I'm getting a bonus to my attacks rolls. Okay. So Malkin gets it, but Cecil doesn't. Uh yeah, because it's. For only short range, and, and Malgan is just barely within range of me. Seems weird to me. One, two, three. Yeah, it does seem like I'm five, further than. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can totally get to Cecil with ten, ten movement. So Cecil will get it too. Oh, yeah. It just doesn't be like that. This okay. is actually a perfect example on why that ruler fucking sucks, because like, if I I'm gonna use your servo skull for a second. Object, click, make a copy of this. So, like, if I'm one, two, or one, three. That's two, three. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I can totally get to ten on Cecil, which is a short range. It's uh, Cecil's at the edge of it, but okay. I can still do it. So, problem solved. Right. So Cecil gets Maybe something. Maybe I'm just something. You're you're probably just using the counters or something weird that that ruler of of ass. Well, can I ask you guys if you want attack or defense? Because it feels like you don't have too much to worry about these guys, little guys. But the big guy, if he hits, he hurts. So I was thinking attack would be better. But do you want the defense? Attack might help us clear him out faster, but a defense would be nice to save all our hit points. I don't know. You're coming. It's your move. Yeah, yeah this, this, is, these, this is your speech of the Emperor. Is the Emperor protecting them, or yeah. the, is the Emperor the... vanquishing his foes? Yeah, we might want to be able to clear him out faster Emperor so we can figure out how to urges that. us yeah. to vanquish our the servants of the Chaos Gods. Okay, so you guys get they attacked. They are a blight upon his sight. Didn't that, shouldn't that smoke have expanded as well? So, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And my servo skull will take a shot at the closest thing, which would be next to Cecil, I think. Alrighty. Um, so, yeah. What did I say that your servo skull becomes Should for level? Do you remember? Um, it's, uh, you didn't give it a level. You just said basically an extra laser pistol okay, attack. Okay, la- so last pistol. So... Okay, so, um, roll, basically, I think the way that I want to hand, handle this is that just every rounds, we're going to assume that it automatically hits, and it's just going to do two damage, because hey. that's what a pistol does. I think that's, because I, I really don't want to make <laughs> this, like, really difficult for us to keep track of for the rest of our lives, now that this fucking thing exists in the game. So... We'll just make it two, so that thing takes two damage. Okay. And as it shoots, it plays a short little audio clip of For the God Emperor. <laughs> yeah, all right, uh, awesome. All right. Uh, my so turn. Can you guys see that, that health bar? Just wondering. No. Um, nope. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Then I can totally work with this because I did it a little bit faster than usual. Alrighty. Um, so that was Bjorn. So, so it's Cecil's turn now, eh? It is. Okay. Um, so if two more of those guys are kind of going to come out every turn, we do not want to be sitting around here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm we gonna... need to do something. Um, Try and release the prisoners. Get some allies on our side. Oh no, they're super weak. To... Yeah, that sounds like it might be a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just fire a shot off at the um, at the dude of, at the at the big scary dude. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll just see what happens here. Nope. Nope. So yeah, you you crack off a shot off at the him and and unfortunately, like it probably actually hits the dead corpse on the table next to him. Curse you. Okay, well, I'm gonna move two forward then too. Oh, uh, ready. Did you? Factor in my. Oh it no, he didn't. I bet you he didn't. Nope, I didn't add then it. That, then that'll hit him. Ah. So he takes three. Woohoo! Okay, so yeah, you get off a shot. Unfortunately, it's still like a glancing blow um, because he's kind of moving around, like casting this this dark chaos magic. Um, you, you, you catch, like, you just get a glancing blow on his shoulder, and, and, uh, you hear him, like, kind of, like, like, hiss at you, he's, ah, and, and, and then he, like, like, glares menacing at you, and he goes, fine, a little bit more magic, and so, like, he starts, like, you know, like, this one seems to be, like, there's more effort into it, it's growing bigger, and it's got a little bit more of a green glow to it. Um, uh, Maugen. Not a whole One, lot two, I can do. I am going to stand up and move here. I want to break free. Okay. That's my turn. Um, one. You would not be able to get onto the table because that's a, a two movement for the table, which would make you a three. Oh, you... I'm... I'm yeah, you said, because you're prone, so you couldn't do that. You didn't count it as a um, double earlier when we were moving. Oh, I thought you went that. around. I thought you went like up the the side. I didn't think that you went around like over the table. Are you talking about when uh, you no. moved? No, when you were counting out spaces to try and get to Cecil. But I guess that was a floating servo skull, so it wouldn't have been affected by the table. Well, what we were talking about was Bjorn's word, which is ignorant of of. Yeah. Physical objects. Yeah. Okay. Then I will just move here. Yeah. That that totally works. You could totally do that. If I'm up on the table, do I get an asset against their attacks because they're so little? Yeah. I'd I'd actually say that I could I could reasonably think that that's okay. Like, because that that would be hard for a little three foot creature to attack yeah. someone up on a table. Okay. Well, that'll that'll be my next move. Next turn. I got a whole hound of them. A whole horde of them on my ass. I mean, unfortunately for you, like, it's kind of like one of those things where, like, if they're on the table, then it obviously doesn't matter. Yeah, of course. But, I mean, if, if they're dumb enough to just kind of stand at the edge and yeah, nap, try nap to, at me. to grab your ankles, then yeah. And they are pretty dumb. Okay. Oh, so that was Mogan. Dude's turn. I think I'm going to start with the little creatures first. So, one... One, two. So they'll do that. Um, so Cecil, two right. defense checks. Malgan, one defense check. They're acting as a swarm mechanic on you. Oh, Wait, I don't like that. that. Then if I get hit, they all hit me, right? Well, basically, they. it's only one hit, but it's easier for them to hit, and the damage is higher. Wait, so which, how many it's do I do? Like, you do two, Cecil. So, so like two. So I'm defending against those four that aren't attack, or there's five that aren't attacking Cecil, and I'm defending against them. Right. But they all count a, as a, one single creature. That's an ability that they have, not something you're making up to make our lives easier? It's technically both. There is a mechanic in the game to deal with all five right. of the same creature acting as one. And because literally, like, if you look at their token, there are millions of them in the token. <laughs> so they do swarm. So 
so um whatever level they are minus one for me so why minus one because I'm trained in dodging things when I'm not wearing armor oh right 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 okay then yeah you dodge out of the way from those Don't forget my acid. well your no, does no your acid get both or just one because I thought you gave no, them right. offense just one okay well, I one. thought I forgot that I was doing attack yeah so never mind. how do I do okay um you dodge out of the way Okay. So, so basically, just to remind you guys, the, what what that essentially is doing is it allows me as the GM to like not have to make like make you guys roll like a billion rolls for something. So what they're doing right. is, is they're acting as as they're five individuals acting as one entity, i.e., swarm mechanic, which basically buffs their um, chance to hit their damage, and I can actually consider them as a whole a single life total. So, basically... So what, like, every time they lose 3 HP, one of them gets knocked off, or...? Right, basically. Like, like visually, that's what you see. But, like, like let's say you do 6 damage, then I would wipe 2 of them, even though you only made 1 attack. Kind of thing. Like, something kind of like that. So, ultimately, I'm keeping track. Like, for Maugen's sake, like, when you guys are attacking, like, this is technically a swarm and then 2 individuals at the moment. But if more come through, it might then become too swarm once they get into the, the mix of things. Okay. Bad guys again? Um, oh no, it's just the big guy's turn. Yeah, now it's the big guy's turn. Maugen, your turn to feel the wrath. I need a intelligence defensive check. Alrighty. He ain't touching me. That I, I that's with the um smoke. You beat a one, it's reduced by one, it's reduced by a second one because of the smoke, he totally hits you. Damn it. Fuck him. So, All right, so that's six intellect damage. And there ain't no armor or nothing against that. Nothing against intellect. All right, so out right. of nowhere, like as you like climb up onto that stool that you're currently on, just all of a sudden this like green globe of, of just energy, this like dooming energy comes whipping across the room and slams right into your chest and almost knocks you back on your ass onto the table. Uh, does you don't knock me onto the table? Like mental defense, do you? Not onto the no, table. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I wish. Um, I think the only person that took, like, that really high-end mental defense was Kiro's character Me. back when she was playing. Oh, yeah. She had mad fucking mental defense. Like, she was built to handle, because she was, like, part Psyker. So, like, she was actually built to fight Psykers. Okay. Um, so, with that, Bjarn. Alright. Yarn moves forward too. Yep. Still continuing his speech. Yep. You who profane the light, you are not worthy to be seen among mankind. Awesome. And he fires a shot at this imp. Uh, the imp that was shot before by the Servo School. That one? Okay. Yep. That's the one. So, is your Servo School going to shoot the same one, or are you going to tell me that after you find out if you hit or not? Uh... Yeah, once it finds, sees that I'm firing at something, it automatically targets the same one. Okay, cool. So, so they both shoot the same thing. Awesome. So I need a roll to hit. Um, I believe that hits, right? Oh yeah, totally hits. And that is enough to bring it down. So it's 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 like probably like it like scrambled on top of the table, and it's been like trying to like reach while still on the table to catch Cecil, like, on the face and, like, claw him to death. And you probably, like, between, like, you and your servo skull, just two last shots go swinging across the room and plug into its bulbous body, and it, like, tips off the table and, like, falls to the ground near Cecil's feet. With, like, a Wilhelm scream, but, like, demon style. Right. Ah! Keels over. Oh, but demon style. 
Yeah. Demon Wilhelm. Okay. Okay. So another one down. And Cecil. Oh, we forgot okay. to the cloud. We don't want to do can I um, move and aim? So I can move the two. Yeah, can you still can move the two? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna aim and then one, two. Uh huh. Um. So I'm aiming. Just so you're aware, I'm aiming at you know scientist McGee over there. Okay. Do you need to call a target? Yeah, because he's aiming at something. Okay. I don't know if he needed to call a target before his attack. One, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Eight, ten. Okay, I'm still good. Well, don't forget, you got that long range shit, so, like, your pistol can go, like, 20. Oh, I know. Yeah. But I get, you know, better hits the uh, if I can point blank him. True. Very true. And since that's been uh, problematic. Oh, he's definitely the, the, the pain in the ass in this entire endeavor, that's for sure. Okay, so so you move the two and you aim. Nothing else you can do that round, right? Yeah. Okay. Malgan. Uh, hop up here and stab the motherfucker right in front of me. Wipe those out just to make life easier. Okay, so this is like the entire horde if you're you're aiming at him. So, like... Assume that like there's just like nerd little nerglings everywhere like trying to like jump on you and fuck you up. That works. Even though like that's not how they are. I do four damage. Oh wait, I didn't apply that effort. Uh, I don't know why that's. Oh, I just never removed it. Still, it's I beat a. You beat a five I beat... even on the roll. So yeah, you yeah. do four damage to him. Um. Okay, so, like, I think, like, probably, like, when you cut, like, because, like, actually, it's a better, here's a better way to do it. Assume that that is the Nurgling Swarm. That makes sense, a little bit more sense for everyone? To, yeah, like, sure. See it like that? That's just, like, a mass of them. Yeah, just a giant horde of, of little Nurglings. Um, yeah, so... They hopped uh, on top of each other? Yeah, they're basically forming, like, Nurgling Voltron. Right now, <laughs> uh, and and so like like as you do that, like you actually like like two of them are like scrambling onto like the stools and leaping at him, and like he just does like this like one cut with his knife, like in the electricity like nicks into the flesh of two of them, and they both like just start seizing and they fall to the ground and look like epileptic people, like just like go like twitching on the ground. And then eventually, like, their muscles, like, give out, and they just, bah, on the ground. Awesome. Um, start of the round. Where's my GM layer? Because fun things happen on the GM layer. Two more show up out of the portal. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh yeah, they totally don't even see Cecil. So, this one. So Maugen, I need one one roll for you to defend yourself against the swarm, and then one based on the one little nurgling that was there previously. Holy! And that <laughs> happened. Holy crap! Uh, okay, Maugen dies tonight. Uh, so um, I will be re-rolling a new character tomorrow, and Malgan gets. Would you like to spend some XP demons. to make some re-rolls? I promised myself I would never, ever, ever spend XP. Okay, so you want to spend my XP? I would rather you didn't waste your experience to um, help me keep my promise to myself. <laughs> okay. So I mean, I, I'm not going to stop you, but yeah, I'm, I'm willing to face the consequences. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that, like, as a GM intervention, technically it requires, like, a, a larger number of Nurglings, but I'm going to say, like, one GM intervention is, is that they now merge into another Nurgling swarm. So you take the two damage from the one little Nurgling, 
and they become a bigger swarm. And then the Nurgling swarm, they're gonna double their damage on you because, like, like literally, like, like I think, like after you cut into those two, like it, you left yourself a little bit open, and like just the rest of them, like were able to reach up and like grab a hold of you, and their little bulbous bodies like grabbed a hold and like pulled you off the table, down onto the ground. Um, so you're gonna be prone. Wait, they can double their damage and prone me and pull me off the table? That's how you get knocked prone. Actually, no, you can stay on the table, but you go prone. So we'll put you like that. So they can prone me and double their damage and merge into... That's three GM intrusions. It, you did two GM intrusions. Yeah, but that's three. No, no, one's part of another one. Oh, so double damage is what makes me prone. Basically. So, so the one, basically you take two damage from the one... But it, and its GM intervention is that it swarms with the other two that just showed up. Okay. Which doesn't affect you directly this turn, so but it happens. I'm taking a total of six damage. Yeah, you're taking a total of six damage. And these little fuckers penetrate, so I have no armor against it. Um, actually, you take more than that, because the swarm does more than um, two, because they're a swarm now. Because technically okay. they're a... One, two, three... So you would take six. You would take eight total damage, but your armor count, or no, your armor doesn't count because they cut through armor. Jesus, these guys are not low-level minions. Okay, I'm they are. Here. But but what happens is is when when low-level minions swarm, they increase in level. Yeah, I'm one more attack from completely dead, so I need to get out of here. You're that low on how? Because I spent a decent amount of effort tonight, and these little motherfuckers do an insane amount of damage. Okay. I have four in my speed and one in intellect. I'm almost dead. Okay, doke. Um, so that was that. Um, this guy, um, at the back, he kind of like, like you hear him like cackling through the, the smoke cloud. It's really hard to see him at this point. And he says, I see that, that uh, the servants of my master will, will serve you well. Um, I will be back later to to dissect and, and inspect your corpses. And he's one, two, three, wait, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. And he's going to start plugging into the keypad to get out of here. Oh, righty. So that was the dude. Maugen, or not Maugen, uh, Bjarn. Hey, Bjarn. Well, uh, Bjorn's gonna switch his, uh, speech to defense, hopefully <laughs> keep Malgan alive, and his servo skull is gonna come float a little closer, wait, it was right, like, there, uh -huh. and fire at the horde in front of Malgan. Okay. Like, between him and Cecil. Alrighty. So that's two damage. Um, two damage from the thing. I need a roll from you. Would you like to spend any damage effort to mm -hmm. possibly kill the swarm? Huh? Because your servo skull is going to do two. That's speed? Yeah, it'd be speed. And yes, I will. Okay. Hey. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah, you totally obliterate that swarm. Oh, the effort was supposed to be in damage. That, that's fine. You, you still so then you do five, five damage? Plus two from your laser pistol, so you did seven damage this turn? Yeah. Or from your service call? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he completely, Not like... Bad. Like, that little swarm that's been, like, tearing into Maugen that, that like... You know, there's like they're probably like swarming all over him, like stabbing their little claws into his body, um, ripping, and you just see like blood splattering everywhere, Eldar bloods, you know, going everywhere, and like between you and the servo skull, like you, your words, like the emp you can feel the guidance of the emperor while you do this, and just almost instantaneously, Maugen, there's nothing stabbing you anymore. 
You're just lying on the table. Last of those fuckers. <laughs> yeah, you literally just obliterated everything on top yeah. of you, and like you're 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 bleeding from a million wounds, so to speak, but like you're you're alive and you're breathing. There's still the the other swarm that's nearby, but nothing's crawling all over you like it was before. Okay. All righty. Good job, Bjarn. Cecil. Oh. This is also supposed to be a little bit bigger. So yeah, I thought my smoke would protect us from him a little more. <laughs> did you notice that it protected me? That's true. Yeah, it did protect uh, Cecil. That they ran right past me. Yeah, they right. did, because he was standing in the smoke cloud. You should have taken being prone next to the table. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> then you go to just like, whoop! Yeah. Okay, well, I'm assuming... <sighs> God dang it. Okay, fine, screw the aiming. Um, I guess I need to get out of here, so move in there. Is that portal still open in the absence of Creepy Doctor Guy? Creepy Doctor Guy is still in the room, so it is still there. Okay, okay. But he doesn't have to, like, actively maintain it? He does. It'll probably oh. disappear when he gets through the door and it closes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm firing a big, scary slug from my revolver at the, at, at the, uh, at the swarm. Awesome. Do it. With increased damage? With increased damage. So it gets five damage because I was aiming at the big doctor, otherwise it would do ten. Or not ten, it'd do eight. So it this is a four damage weapon. Or five Three. damage weapon. This is wait, this is your your revolver. Rifle. Oh, this is Rev a revolver. So revolver, so it's the three. Plus another three for the increased damage, right? Yeah. No, no, plus another six. Sorry, I did two levels of effort for damage. Oh, 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 okay, that's what, what oh, makes shit. it nine. So we're just one shot in this guy. <laughs> and this is at the doctor, or...? No, this is at the... the... the swarm. Okay, cool. So... I mean, it's unlikely they'll hit me again it's if you want to just end the doctor. Agony. It you doesn't matter. I, I fired one shot and killed five people. Technically, yeah. like, we're going to say, like, at least, because that doesn't make sense otherwise, that, like, you probably, like, it doesn't pull from your ammo load costs, but, like, you basically, like, you just, like... I have two guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just, like, you see, like, one climb up on the table, and, like, basically all you're doing is you're waiting for these little three-foot fuckers to climb up on the table, and as that, like, slow down movement, you're just, like, and shooting ducks in a barrel. One, two, three, four... Five, you know, like, and then they like basically, then they're all just sitting there, like, dead on the ground, oozing their their demonic nurgling blood onto the the concrete ground beneath it. See, you lived. I did. Only because he he mad he rolled like mad he like did mad effort on that little yeah. nurgling swarm. I was just gonna throw myself at Bjorn's feet. It only <laughs> cost me. me. It only cost me three points. <laughs> Wait, how's it, shouldn't it have cost you... What's your uh, speed edge? I have two, edge? two speed edge. Oh. That's so crazy. I can get away with this. Yeah. <laughs> He's basically turning into the uh, Nate's character of last campaign. Yeah. Little by little. Okay. Hey, let's be real here. My character is much more awesome than Nate's character. Oh yeah, a lot more flavor. Okay, so my little my little nurgling swarms are gone. Um, Maugen, you are lying on the table prone, and it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna kind of just like slowly stand up and like dust myself off and like shake my head. Say, um, you well, probably wobble you're... a little bit as you do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll look at Bjorn and say, um, you you can give your corpse emperor my thanks. He seems he seems to be pretty useful. Pretty nice guy. Thanks, the God Obama. Emperor. Okay, so that, yeah. That's all. I'm, the I mean, God just... Emperor extends his protection to all who <laughs> fight the gods of chaos. There we go. Um, I mean, the, I my only recovery action is ten minutes, so there's nothing I can do. I'm just like uh, standing up. Yep. And oh no, I mean, I may as well take a pot shot at the doctor. Oh yeah, you. Oh no, no, it's a full, it's a full action to stand up. I cannot do that. True, very true. Yeah, yeah. 
You could stay on the table if you didn't want to do that and fire at the doctor. Yeah, you know what? I'll stay prone and I'm going to just try and shoot that fucker because I'm really mad at him. Yeah, I would be too. So yeah. don't forget, mark down the areas on your your damage tree. So like hail to... Yeah, I'm in impaired right now. Yeah, okay. Just making sure that you, you mark yeah. that. And I'll take ammo for my shrieking. Oh, you're going uh... balls to the walls. So are you the only range any thing I have is... You don't really have effort to spend. I was like, you invested any effort? Not I really. mean, I could drop two speed into uh, damage and leave myself with three life points. <laughs> Hoping that the portal but... hasn't spit out anything else. Yeah, while it's I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to try and shoot him in the goddamn back. Okay. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I don't think that... Nope. Not do, do tie yeah ties go to the defender in this one? He is not a five. He's a. Hmm. Oh poop. That's why he was doing okay, six so... damage on his mental attacks. If I miss him, what happens when my uh, shuriken ammo goes into the that portal that's in between us? I would. It depends. I mean, like realistically, I'm not gonna say that. Mm, yeah, I think that's actually fair. Now that you said it, yeah, it, it, it slams through the portal. You don't know that what happens to it. it. Maybe it probably hits a little nurgling on the other side. You're not sure. So this portal just leads to a room that's like packed to the walls with nurglings. Yeah, because I mean, literally, it's 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 an, a portal between the like Papa Nurgle's dimension and this yeah. one. Uh, at least I killed one of those little fuckers that just almost eviscerated me. So that's fine by me. Yeah, probably so, like. And because it's a shuriken, it probably, because there's, like, swarms of them on the other side, it probably, like, pops, like, four or five of them. You just can't see it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so, yeah, unfortunately you didn't hit him, but you you, you get to mentally know that you, you fucked a yeah, bunch of little nerglings exactly on the other revenge. side. On his turn, he is GTFOing out that door. When the door closes, the portal disappears. Because he no longer has a, a visual slash psychic connection to it. And just for argument's sake, I'm going to go ahead and remove this smoke cloud because I don't think that it's pertinent because combat ends when he leaves. Unless you guys are chasing after him. Yeah, I want to I wanna lay down in the smoke cloud and take my 10 minute recovery while they search the room. <laughs> okay. So we're going to assume that you're in the smoke cloud. I'm just going to remove it because that really, yeah. really pisses me off like to like see that. Um, so... I think let's take another like five minute break right here.